All right, I'm going to try a quicker game today, but still longer, still rapid. Uh, it's going to be a 10 0, so no delay here. Or no, yeah, delay. This guy is 2250. I am now 2223. I'm going to fly through the opening a little bit more. Interesting to see if the third straight game he plays bishop g5. Nope. At least not right now. Alright, my plan normally here is to play c5. He may play c4. I think c5 first. Yeah. If he takes, I can bring the knight out. This opening kind of struggles to... And I'm okay not taking here. I'm okay just playing this, I think. No, I probably want to take. Take. The, the pawn's going to take, I think. I was just worried about him pushing. I think here's okay. I'm kind of blocking my bishop, but his bishop's in the same thing. And we've got a symmetrical game. Just developing. This bishop's a little freer than it was before. Um, goal is just to kind of get this going here. Eye up this pawn. It's a little bit quicker for me to do it. If I go there, you can bring in this bishop in here. You can try to win a pawn. Takes, takes, takes. Uh, I don't think that pawn stays. Well, it might because this is now a weakness. So if he takes the bishop at the very end, I'll try it. At the very least, I can double these pawns. And then this is a little bit better um, because maybe I can use this as an outpost. So if he takes, takes, wins the pawn, not forever. But I'm trying to develop with, I think just taking with the knight's fine. If he takes here, this pawn's hanging. Yeah, okay, seems pretty good. I don't think I'm missing anything. Uh, his pieces are a little bit uncoordinated. Um, I want to hit this a couple of times. If I do it with the rook, this pawn is open. So I think I want to just get the queen out of the way because the bishop comes in. I'm going to slide my, yeah, this seems okay. Uh, bishop comes here. I can probably just play e5. Gain tempo. Yeah, e5 first. I don't see anything super weakening. Rook slide. Whoa. That's a great move. Did not see that. Did not calculate that. But uh, he takes a central knight. I take this with tempo on his. He played that really quick. Uh, it's just a trade. He even may that may even be not a good move because I'm hitting this a lot. Uh, now I'm hitting his piece here. Oh, yeah, he played that way too quick. His king's in trouble now. His knight moves. I'm taking his king is open. Uh, do I want to take right away? Is there any other tactic? Check. I don't have to take. Can I develop something? got time to think about this. Where's the best place for my pieces? I think I want to keep this rook here for this protection. I'm up. This can just slide up, can it? Okay. Not too worried about this. I could even do a, a, a slow move like that. I'm really not worried about him taking. Seems like I can just win the pawn here. It's the best way forward. So, yeah, it's not there. Interesting, like, take here is if he slides here, I can capture, rook captures, rook captures check, knight slides back, bishop comes here, wins the queen back. That's a nice tactic, but if I go here, he just takes with the bishop. Uh, then I slide over. And if rook takes, 
I can slide up here. Winning this pawn for sure. I'm okay with him taking that pawn, I think. But I just don't know the best way forward. Maybe rook slides here. Doesn't defend his rook coming there. Queen up. I kind of like the rook here to hit this because I'm coming here. That's my plan. Yeah, let's just slide here. I don't know if it's right. There's probably a right move here. I always have check. He can't take my opponent's mate in two. Threat is to come here. If his queen takes here, I'm just sliding up. Because I have a couple threats here, yeah. So threat is here, it's then take, and then pawn comes up. I'm hitting this a couple of times. He has to worry about this pawn uh, bishop right away. Because I'm hitting it twice. Queen can't take that pawn. Let's just slide up. We don't want to trade. I'm going for more initiative than material. Because I'm already up five pawns to four. I can take this at any time. He still can't take its main two. Bishop coming here is a threat right away. Because if the knight takes, it's mate in two. If his pawn comes up, I want to see that where the bishop goes first. Um, other threats if the knight ever moves. Something simple like this could do it. Because I'm, I'm winning a rook, and it's pretty much mate. Oh, whoa, that's mate in two. Yeah, that's not good. Yep, that was a mistake by him. Okay, uh, that was a quick one. Um, I want to go to the analysis board, not like last time, and not have it automatically run. So hit this. I'm not hitting request to computer analysis, and we'll go to the game. All right, cool. So yeah, this is a standard game. Um, is there a name for this one? I can't pronounce that. Indian defense, uh, Zipiorka variation probably butchered that okay d5 I was I played c5 it's um I don't know if it's a mistake or not it gives white an advantage but it's the number three move d5 d6 makes the most sense which I kind of played that anyway so maybe it was a little unnecessary to play c5 I mean he could just take if he takes I was thinking this bishop here and then here's the most common and then you've kind of got a little bit of better center play but he's pretty open. He's more developed. So slight edge to white. Uh, why did that engine go back on? Okay, so takes, takes, d5. I played most common move, knight c3, knight c6, knight e5, not h3. Okay, I think h3 is a bit of a mistake, but so is, like, he doesn't have to take here. He does not have to take here. Just e3 makes sense. Is the most uh, popular move. Taking just seems like uh, not a huge advantage because his knight shouldn't have gone here. His knight should have gone here. Maybe he was worried about this and then now these pawns are even worse. But I don't even know if that's a problem. It's a pawn sacrifice. I mean, because I, if I take back here, he takes here. Maybe here, hitting this a couple of times. I feel like he's he doesn't have to go to the corner like he did. There's probably something better. I mean, if he comes here, maybe it's the same. I mean, I kind of like this because if he does take your, then hitting this pawn, rook's kind of stuck, can't go there. I don't know if that's right or not because his queen definitely doesn't have to take. But no, just going here just seemed uh, seemed bad. Okay, so he takes the pawn, I take his pawn with tempo, really bishop slides back is probably the better move. I have to take, I think I have to take, his, his knight's going to come back in the game and, you know, he's down a pawn. Um, maybe he just didn't want to play that way. Yeah, he played this so quick. I don't, I don't think this, I think this is a, a big mistake. Just too much pressure. Be, I mean, the idea obviously is here takes and then... You know, his bishops are bearing down. It's kind of tough to defend that. Maybe it just comes here. He's threatening to come right there, right away. You don't want to do that because this is just, this looks bad. 
maybe I can threaten some stuff, but he comes back in the game and he, he's alright. So that's not good. Um, but yeah, this is bad. Tempo on the queen, he's got to move. He's hitting this, but again, I've just got too much activity. Taking here seemed preemptive because he can never take there. So this tactic is what I was thinking. If he does come here, which seems bad, check, check. Knight has to block because the king is stuck on the back rank. And then, oh, uh, I thought I was getting his, this pawn. Never mind. Um, maybe it's not that good. Can I force his queen off of... No, that doesn't do anything. Uh, maybe just come here. If he does anything, he's he's losing main one right away. But yeah, this seems seems like it might be pretty good for me. Um, interested what it would say if he does that. So if I slid here, yeah, it's just losing. Knight back. Oh, yeah, he's his queen stuck. That's really good. Hitting this queen takes its mate in one. If he comes back, would I take? Um, maybe bishop comes here. Let's see, bishop, no, whoa, what's that? <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, I mean, you get the queen, you get the queen back, but you're up a, a piece here. You're coming here at some point. I don't know if right away or not, but you're winning a lot. Okay, yeah, and then he just, he gave up mate too. It did look like, um, briefly turned on the engine, it did like this first. I'm wondering what's the problem. Because I can't. No, I'm thinking like something like this. Here. You're winning the piece back. Okay, there's probably some better stuff. Let's run the engine and see. I think he just he blundered. Um, that queen move was way too quick. I had two inaccuracies, so pretty good. All of this looks pretty good. C5, it, yeah, inaccuracy. Play D5 next time, looks like. Um, it's hard to think about until you actually play it, but my thought process in the game I was thinking, take, take, d5. If you think about it, what's what's the difference if you play d5 here, right? To just play it. If he opens up, I could play c6. What's most common? Yeah, c6. Get this structure. He's not going to do that. That seems... You're going to... You're going to break it. He's pushed too far, so that seems pretty good. Uh, c5. c3 is a mistake. What should he play? He should take. All right, so I play c5 a lot. I'm going to try to play a little bit more sensible next time. Yeah, h3 wrong. He, it wants him to play in here. Kind of the same idea. I mean, it is symmetrical. That's what I played. So him playing in here is the same thing, but he goes first. It's it's the same idea. It's probably even like the same game. Now he takes, it's like the same version, but flip it around. So I, I was able to act first because he wasted a move with h3. Yeah, he does not have to take. E3 is recommended, bishop f4. If I take like my structure, yeah, it seems pretty good. I could take, I don't have to. But then I just want to get out here, get here, hit this, bring this knight in here on this, uh, uh, what's that called? I know it's an outpost, but blockade for the pawn, something like that. Yeah, just seems like that, that's just, just a weird move. Why would he go back? I take, take. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I, I actually didn't even think about this until after, once I moved my queen here, I was thinking, all right, e5 to answer that. That's got to be a blunder. Yep, just terrible. Moves over, take, come here. Yeah, it wants the queen right away. So queen right away, a little bit of tactics here. Let's just see what it recommends. I, that just seems kind of dumb to me. Why would you go here? Check. What is that? Why would you, why would, why would this be the best answer? It's just saying it's just not good. So queen makes a lot of sense. This bishop's really exposed. I like that this knight blocks him from coming back. Not that there's anywhere to go. But okay, that was a pretty easy game overall. Um, I'm up to 20 to 49. So thanks for watching, everybody.